Good day everyone. We are here in steering gear room. Then we need to identify the parts of our steering gear unit. And show you how to test safety alarms of this unit. By the way the maker of our steering gear unit is Rolls Royce. Yes. This is the same brand or manufacturer of luxury Rolls Royce cars that you can see, like in movies, magazine or your car in the future. The function of the steering gear is to provide the rotational power to operate rudder unit in order to steer the vessel going to port side or starboard side. We have two steering gear control system. Unit system 1 is connected to main switchboard. And unit system 2 is connected to emergency switchboard which supplied by emergency generator in case during blackout. Reversible pump system 1 and 2 unit is controlled by a frequency drive converter. That is frequency converter number 1. And this is frequency converter number 2. The frequency converter is installed located at the side of steering room. The function of the feedback units is to interface the rotary angle to the rudder. Inside this unit has two limit switch to limit the travel of the actuator to the maximum allowed. Rudder angle transmitter is to transmit the actual angle indication of the rudder going bridge to the bridge and other repeaters. This is the actual markings that you can see in the top of rudder stock. As I said earlier, this reversible pump unit 1 is controlled by frequency converter to drive the main rudder actuator that the power supply is connected to main switchboard. In case of emergency, this system 1 can be used as emergency steering local maneuver as long as we are not experiencing blackout. In this part, as we can see, this is the steering gear unit system number 2. This is commonly used as emergency steering, it's because this is connected to emergency switchboard and in case experiencing total blackout, this unit is supplied by emergency generator. That's why you can use this as a last resort for local emergency steering maneuvering. Same as the other unit, this frequency converter is also controlling the reversible pump to operate the rudder actuator, in order to rotate the rudder stock. This is the storage tank it includes built-in hand pump to fill up the steering lube oil tank in case low level. There is also sight glass for actual monitoring of level in case the sensor is malfunctioned. There is also a safety alarm named low level lube oil. If alarm triggered, the other standby system will automatically run. To simulate this alarm, just remove the connector or lift the float to get an alarm. Next alarm is clog filter. If this alarm occurs, normally change new filter. And to simulate this alarm is to disconnect the connector of sensor and automatic alarm will triggers but it is not included in auto change over as per manual. Next alarm is hydraulic lock. If this alarm occurs, normally the valve did not correspond to the correct signal as given. There is a proximity sensor that monitors the correct position of the valve. And to simulate this alarm, is to disconnect the wire. At terminal box, X1, 3 or 4 of sensor, and automatic stop and automatic other system will change over and run. Next alarm, is isolation valve failure. As you can see there is solenoid valve attached below the valve block. If this alarm happens, normally the solenoid valve or faulty or the wire break occurs. And to simulate this alarm, is to disconnect the connector of solenoid valve. 
and automatic stop the pump and automatic other system will change over and run. Next topic. How to perform emergency steering. Procedure. Just select the switch to number 3. And the pump starts. Then you can steer using red for port and green for starboard. Next alarm. Phase failure alarm. Open the panel and check where is the fuse located. And there is list of fuses. If alarm happen, means the one or two lines is disconnected. It causes single phase. The system will stop, the other standby system will automatically run. To simulate this alarm, just remove any of this three. F17, F18, F19 fuse. Next alarm. Power failure. Inside the panel, turn off main power breaker. The system will stop, and the other standby system will automatically run. Last but not the least. Overload alarm. If this alarm happens, it means there is something problem to your motor possible cause seized bearings or pump is stuck up. To simulate. Need to disconnect wire from terminal block X10. 9 or 10. It's because the signal is coming from the frequency converter. Please see the diagram. The system will stop, and the other standby system will automatically run. In the diagram, which you can see the motor is controlled by frequency converter. And also this is the display of rudder angle. And we have emergency telephone. That's all thank you for your time. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for more updates. Also follow us on Facebook Barku TV.